Our top stories today, the former New South Wales Premier Bob Carr is already coming under pressure over foreign policy, even though he's yet to be sworn into his new portfolio. Mr Carr has today been sworn in as a New South Wales Senator, but he won't formally become Foreign Affairs Minister until later this afternoon. The Greens leader, Bob Brown, has urged him to speed up Australia's military withdrawal from Afghanistan, but Mr Carr says he's sticking to the government's plans. A UN Security Council meeting on Syria has failed to resolve differences between member nations on how to address the violence there. Activists say up to 47 civilians, including women and children, have been killed in a massacre in the city of Homs. The US Secretary of State Hillary Clinton has accused Bashar al-Assad's regime of killing its own people. Meanwhile, hundreds of mourners in the US have paid their respects to celebrated war correspondent Mari Colvin, who was killed in Homs last month. Mari Colvin was covering the uprising in Syria for Britain's Sunday Times newspaper when the house she and other journalists were reporting from was shelled by Syrian government forces. A French photojournalist, Remy Oshlik, was also killed in the attack. And the Pentagon has rejected calls for the American soldier who went on a shooting, shooting rampage in Kandahar to be tried in public in Afghanistan. The Afghan parliament is demanding a public trial for the soldier who killed 16 villagers, including women and children, in the pre-dawn attack on Sunday. The Taliban has promised revenge attacks.